Hello everyone! Welcome back to Technic4 Tutorials. This video is about pop-up dialog box for cloud funnels. Let's get started. I will show you how to use CF pop-up plugin. CF pop-up plugin automatically pop up the form when anybody leaves the website or closes the current web page. It helps you increase the landing page conversion text, newsletters, subscribers, and so on. So let me show you how it works. First, log into your account. Go to Plugins, located on the left sidebar. Click Add New Plugin button and click on Install from Marketplace. Now here on the Marketplace, you will see tons of plugins that you can use. Now you can search CF Pop-Up to get the plugin, or you can just scroll down and you will see it. Click on it and click on Install. And you will be redirected to your plugin section and you will see it added if it's installed successfully. Now. Toggle this button to enable and set it as active. You will then see it on the sidebar section. Click on it and select All Setting. Then click on Create New. You are now in your pop-up form settings. Now, enter your form name. Then, enter in the Submit button text. Next, on the right side, you have the Create Custom Input Fields and Headers. This is for you to give their information. You can actually have one box if you want to, and you can add more depending on your setup. In my case, I want to get their name, email, and contact number. Since I already have the name and email here, I will now create one for the contact number. So in the first box, I will write, Enter the contact number. And I will also put the same on the title. Then select text. And for the input name, I will put contact underscore number. You can also choose to set this as a required field or set it as optional. Next, scroll down and here you have the manage style section. Here is where you can customize what your pop-up form would look like. From the width, which is in pixels, you can change the background color, the header background color, header padding and margin, footer background color, footer padding and margin, and as well as the submit button color and text. Also for the error text color that the user will get when they have entered in the wrong information. You can also align the submit button however you want. And you can also create a custom CSS here. Next, on the right side, you have the settings section. You can position your form from the choices here. Then check the box if you want to show your pop-up box on a delayed time. Then enter in the time here, which is set in seconds. Then also check these boxes if you want to allow these options, like use it as exit pop-up, show the pop-up on the button click, or don't display the form after subscription. Now on the display setup, you can choose if you want to display it on all pages or on a specific page where the short code will be applied. You can also manage how the process after the form submission, whether you want to allow the form submitted date to pass in main cloud funnels process or redirect to a given URL. Next, scroll down and set up your header and footer content sections. Now in this section, it is up to you whether you want to add an image or maybe some description. You can also change the color from here. Just click on Format and right below it is the color section. And here you have a very helpful editing tool to set up your header and footer contents. Moving on to the last part, you can choose your theme. Just select one from here. And if you ever want to preview your pop-up, 
just click here and you will see how it looks. And here is the form we have made so far. Now if you want to add an HTML text, go back to the content section and click on view from here. Then click on source code and just add your code here. Now I have quickly updated my style so you can see better. And this is how it would look now. And when it's all finished, click on the create button. Now at the top of the setting, you will see the short code for it. You can copy it by simply clicking on it. Now paste it to your funnel. Go to Funnels and Sites, choose your project, and click on the Edit Funnel button. Then select your page type. Click on Edit Existing Page. Now, to paste your shortcode, click and drag the Custom Code button from the left section. And place it wherever you want. You can then paste your shortcode and save it. Now, visit your page. And here on your page, after 5 seconds, the pop-up will appear. You will then see the pop-up form that we have set earlier. When closing this pop-up, you can just click on the X button or anywhere here on your screen. And when the user will exit the tab, this pop-up will appear. Now, as I have mentioned before, if you want the user to be redirected to a different page after subscribing on the form, you will need to choose it on the settings. Then get the URL you want them to be redirected on. Let me add this Google URL for example. But you can actually add whatever you desire. Now if you also want this pop-up to show on the button click, just check on this box, then hit the update button. Now, copy the shortcode for it and paste it to your page on your funnel. So just like what we did earlier, just go to Funnels and Sites. Edit your funnel. Select the page. Click on the Edit Existing Page. Then choose the button you want to use for it. Click on it. Then create a link. Then paste the URL here. After that, save it. Now go back and visit the page. So now, when I click on this button, you will see the pop-up form that we have created. And when I close this tab, it will appear too. Now in this form, when the user fills in the details and hits the subscribe me button, they will now be redirected to the URL I have put in, which is the Google page. And if you want to save all the details that the user entered in the form, just go to opt-in section. Choose your pop-up form, and you will see all the details that it has gathered, like the name, email, contact number, and from which page the data came from, and also the IP address. You can also export all these data to a CSV file just by clicking here. And from here, you can also edit this pop-up form settings just by clicking on this edit button. Then, don't forget to always update your settings after you have done some changes. You can also see the total numbers of subscribers you have if you click on it. And also by clicking on the eye icon. And if ever you want to delete it, just click here and confirm. And there you have it. How to use pop-up dialog box for cloud funnels. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.